Bob, how are you? You look great. Good to see you. Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. Dr. Bill Stanton and Bob Brewer have known each other since 1997. Bob came to see Dr. Stanton because he had a bump on his head. Turns out it was cancer. Caring for cancer patients is a journey uh, of discovery. You have to know what their families are like. You have to know what their fears are. You have to know what their strengths and weaknesses are. And the way you do that is to listen. Dr. Stanton is an incredible doctor. Uh, he has a bedside manner. He has an ability to communicate. He has an ability to show you that he cares. Bob, are you walking a lot? I am, doctor. I'm trying to walk a lot, and this is the reason why. That's my dog, Taco. He tries to get me going 10,000 steps a day. Wow. The two men share a common history. Both had served in Vietnam, and they believe Bob's cancer was caused by his exposure to Agent Orange. There were two times in my life where I was pretty convinced I was going to die. The first time was in Vietnam in a, in a very long firefight. And the second time I thought I was going to die was when I was diagnosed with cancer on my head. Um, but I'm, there's no question in my mind the man that saved me this time was Dr. Stanton. Bob is one of some 10,000 patients that Dr. Stanton has cared for during his 46-year career at Scripps Mercy. And like many of his patients, Bob was treated to this. Dr. Stanton has serenaded cancer patients for decades, where patients come to get their chemotherapy. I play for patients because it calms them, it gives them joy. Good music is a therapeutic entity. It treats patients in some ways that are very much uh, magical. I, I just will never forget that form of bedside manner with Dr. Stanton. Bill, thank you for choosing Scripps Mercy to practice medicine for the last 46 years. The special way you've connected with your patients, calmed them with your classical music, and just the treating them at their time of greatest need. We're so grateful, thank you. When I walk through the halls of Mercy, I feel so privileged to have worked in one of the top healthcare systems in the United States. The Sisters of Mercy have become one of the most important elements of my life. Uh, they have given to San Diego for 128 years a warm place to get good care. Warm in not only temperature, but in spirit. For me, they've been a moral compass. Bill will be missed. It's, it's hard to describe, I think, how important um, all of our physicians are uh, at Scripps. And I think the success of our organization over the last few years is, is driven largely by the physician leadership that we've had in our organization. Bill Stanton has been a true leader for all of his 46 years at Scripps and we don't take that for granted. Bob Brewer has been cancer free for more than two decades, yet each year he comes back to see Dr. Stanton. And I will continue to see him as long as I can because just being treated and sitting down and having him examine me gives me a, an unbelievable level of comfort. Every time I see Bob, it's a celebration of life. You always say the right things and make me feel so good. I well, I realize that. you're a great source of uh, pleasure for me that you're doing so well. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. Thank you. See you soon. You got it. I'll Thank see you, you next year. Yes. When I look back on my career, I'm just grateful that I've had the opportunity. I know that I made the right cho choice going into oncology, and uh, I'll be forever grateful to all the people that helped me get here. Thank you, Dr. Stanton, for a magnificent career, for saving so many lives, for putting patients front and center of everything we do. I'm being honored tonight, but I'm really not the subject of the honor. It's all the people in the audience who have helped us do this. Mm -hmm.